Okay, so yesterday we looked at this type of market. We're in a symmetrical wedge pattern. Three out of five days a week, you're typically in trend. Two out of five days a week, you're typically in chop or in a symmetrical wedge. Chop is range. Range is we only trade market profile. We only, we only sell the high, buy the low. We don't trade Fibonacci arrows in chop or range. You only can trade market profile. That's a strict rule that we have in the room. Now, how do you know if you're in chop? If I get two lower highs and I get two higher lows, that's called a wedge pattern. You can see it wedge. I drew these up for you yesterday. What I said when we're in the middle, we're in the trading room yesterday, we're in this level right here. I said we're not going to get any speed in the market until we get outside of the wedge. And then I want to take all arrows, the first arrows I see, Fibonacci arrows, once I get outside of the wedge, because that's going to put me outside of market profile too. The HVA was right here at the time also. We had HVA, high value area right there we had low value area down here about the same spot where the trend line was so we knew if we get out got outside this trend line and I said look for the first retest and look for the fib arrows well that's these are the fib arrows next to it that it produced we broke out of the symmetrical wedge the two lower highs two higher lows as soon as you break out start watching your fib arrows over here your fib arrows right here produced great a great run one is almost seven hundred dollars per one contract risking 110 bucks the other one came out uh, right around 40 50 almost 50 ticks with a five to one reward to risk ratio and about six and a half to one reward to risk ratio that's how you can trade the breakout of a semester wedge this happens about two days a week we're actually in a wedge pattern now which i'm going to draw you up what we're looking for here in a second also so but the bottom line is you want to stay away from arrows when you're in a wedge pattern like this you don't want to trade arrows when you're in the middle like this in between the apex you're in between the wedge you want to stay away from any arrows inside this wedge we don't take Fibonacci arrows we only like taking Fibonacci arrows with two things we want to take them with trend or hard trend up or down and you know how to look for that on the trend chart or if we're in a symmetrical wedge and we break out once we break out look how these these Look, look how the arrows produced the big move up, and it was a nice little uh, pop-up in the market. So that's how we want to trade flat markets. We want to, we know we're in a flat or chop market if we have two higher lows, two lower highs on my trend chart. If we know that, we want to look for a breakout. We'll look for a breakout, like I said yesterday, that will get the market some speed. It will come back down, retest, almost retest it to the tick on the trend line. My arrows fired right there to get in, and then you're back into a nice little push up about a 70 tick move up all right that's what we're looking for all right so this morning we're in a symmetrical wedge again and I'm gonna turn this video off I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for this morning but we're at two lower highs again we got two lower highs forming right now then we got two higher lows so we are forming another symmetrical wedge as we speak so what we're going to look for is a break retest and arrows to fire us in again. You can see there's my wedge pattern. We're getting tight. We're getting really tight. That tells me one thing. When you go back-to-back -back wedge days, we got a heck of a run coming in crude here later today or tomorrow. It could be one big move in the market. I got it going around 150 to 200 tick move. And so um, we should be able to see some nice movement coming up on a trend, and we'll jump all over these Fibonacci trades. 